Hi, this is Eric, and I'm going to be designing logos with Design Evo. This is a review. The folks at Design Evo asked me to put this app to the test. It's a web based app to design logos quickly and easily, and I'm going to see what I can do with this. So, uh, the challenge that I'm going to do is to design several logos based on requirements of friends of mine on Facebook that they put out there. I said, Who wants a logo? and uh, they gave me some requirements and I'm gonna see if using them I can do this as quickly as possible but as professionally as possible so uh, let's get started first of all I asked my Facebook friends for uh, a, a couple questions when doing this so if you've never designed a logo before these are just some standard questions so first I told them no revisions I'm doing this to test the product so what you see is what I'm going to share with them uh, and in fact the first time I share it with them might be in this video so that's number one number two I asked for color choices the more specific the better uh, I have actually sent people to a wonderful color picking app online called coolers.co uh, I'll put a link to that in the description below if if you've never used it, it's a great way to come up with a color scheme. Three, asked for icons or images and shapes. I think that would fit uh, the logo the best or maybe an emotion they're trying to convey. Uh, just so I get a little bit of direction before using the app. And then I want them to give me a name and a tagline, uh, whether it's their company or for themselves or something. And then finally, what are they using this logo for? So those are uh, good questions. So uh, let's get started with the first one and see if I can do this as quick as possible. So the first logo we're going to do is for uh, Lavinia. So what is she looking for? She is an artist. And so it, we're going to go with, she's fine going with a typical paintbrush or a palette or something arty looking. We'll see if uh, Design Evo can do that. Uh, she's got a tagline of have fun and create, or we could use the word create or explore. Uh, her name is her business, so we're going to go with her full name. And she'd like something circular, she says. So we'll see if we can do that. And she wants bold imagery, nothing weak. And she gave me a color palette to work with, which is awesome. So we're going to show you what that looks like in a second. Or she said she can use my discretion. So let's get started. Okay, so this is Design Evo. When you first get here, you can sign up. And uh, I've already signed up uh, previous to this. So I connected with Facebook. There I am. And uh, when you, you when you design your logos, you click on my logos and they should be saved right here. So this is something that I just played around with for a moment. Um, so let's come back to here and we're going to make a free logo. So that's the first thing you should know is you could design it for free. Whether you could download it or not to use it, that's a different story. I'll talk about that towards the end of the video. So we're going to make a free logo. Now, remembering uh, what our requirements are, uh, first of all, this is for art. So when you first open Design Evo, you get all these sample logos, uh, and there's a lot of them, and they all have icons and names. You don't have to use icons if you don't want, and they have categories, and uh, or you could just start from scratch, as you can see right here. Uh, but in this case, she is into art, so I'm going to click Art and Entertainment, and we already have a, a bunch of things that might look uh, good. I don't see anything that looks arty that's jumping out to me yet. But these are all starting places. So you're not married to the fonts. You're not married to uh, the logo or even the colors. So this one is not so bad. But remember, she set a circle. So I'm looking for something that's already um, configured as a circle or something. Oh, here's here you go. We can make that into a circle. And it's already got a palette. So let's click on this one and uh, we're going to put in her name. All right, so her name is Lavinia Wiggins, and I'm going to put in her slogan, her, her, slogan, her slogan, and click Get Started. So now it's already populated her name and her Have Fun and Create. No colors here. So we're already two-thirds there, which is really cool. So you see here, it's, it is relatively easy, the interface. You've got background and layout. So if you click on layout, you can actually change orientation to center, you know, left, right, bottom, and whatever. So it's, it's really, really quick to do that. It orientates the, the tagline and all that. Uh, the background, you could make it transparent or color fill. So if you wanted to, you know, do the background like that, you could do that. I prefer to have it transparent. 
because that way you could put it on any background. Um, you could change the icon just by going here and you'll see there's no icons but there are some popular searches so if I click on lion you get like all these lions. So here I'm going to put paintbrush and so instead of this paintbrush she said she wanted to see something circular so we got all these paint brushes. Well, this looks like you're a house painter. That's not good. We want an art painting. See, like that. That's actually a really cool one. Um, I just want to see what our options are. Oh, there's even more. You could just keep going to town. And it's picking all these things. They seem to be included. This is, it, ooh, this one's really nice. I like that. It's a little more professional. Um, this one, the, the one that I also liked was this guy. So if I click that, so you see it drops it over the previous icon. So I'd have to delete this first. So let me delete that. And then we put this up here and I'd have to make it a little bit larger. You just click and stretch and it automatically has those guidelines to set you up. I make it nice and bold. She said she wanted bold, not anything weak. So that's option one. I guess the option two is this person, which is also really nice. Oh, it, it swapped it out. That's really cool. So if you do the pro forma ones, it, it's just going to add to it. But I could take any one of these icons and just replace it really quick, which is neat. That's a little too artsy for her. Uh, not artsy like she's not artsy, but I just don't think that's as symmetrical as she'd like. So I could just keep clicking and it keeps looking for you know painting and paintbrush and all these keywords here. It seems to be searching for a while. Uh, I'm gonna I'm going to take a bold move and because she did say something circular this is circular I guess the other one's a little bit more circly so I'm gonna go with that uh, now let's see what these things do so this is an effect so you could change the opacity okay that's pretty cool uh, here you could change the, the the flip it horizontal or vertical I like it in the direction it is but here we could change the color to a gradient now she's already given me a color palette, so let's look at that color palette. We go over to colors.co, and if you've ever, never been here, this allows you to cycle through colors and, and have some fun. So the, she said these two were the colors. I'm not sure which is which. Um, if I wanted to do a gradient, I would take this color and this color. And you, what you want to do is get the six-digit number. Just copy that. And then uh, over here, we're going to put that there. And then we click on the other one, and then we get, let's go with this and see how that looks. And I'm not sure this is going to look great. Mm, I don't like the gradient. I'm going to go solid instead and just paste the color that she gave me. It's not as bold. Um, the boldest color she gave me is this one. I'm not sure she's going to dig it. Um, but she did give me a little bit of license. If I wanted to... Let's see. I think she's going to want me to stay in the green family, but it looks like I can add a third. Can I add a third? No, I could just change where the gradient starts and ends, but I could also change the angle of the gradient, which is pretty cool. I'm going to go with that. Uh, we can also add a shape. So if I wanted to add a circle around, uh, oh, look, you got a decoration. Those are badges. Then you have decoration. Oh, nice. Uh, solid shape. So you got a lot of outline shape. There's a lot of options here. So if I wanted to emphasize the circle, I could do that. And I could add a symbol, a copyright, or a banner. So if I wanted to give a little a little bling here, I could bling it in one of these things. Let's say I add the banner. Oop, no, that's not what we wanted to do. We want to add a separate banner. Oh, look at that. You can just click and drag it. And then I can I can stretch it out. And uh, let's see, we want to make it behind the text. So there's a little layer button here. So I can make it go back. And I probably have to make it go back a couple times. So now it's really behind there. And then I could take this text. I can make it smaller, center it. Actually, it needs to be a little bit more centered in a square. And then obviously, I'm going to want to make this white. And then boom, now it's that's popping a little bit. Um, Oh, and then what I could do, just being a little bit creative here, is put the tagline right there. Look at that. Now, this text is not evoking art to me at all. So these are the the different kinds of fonts you have. They have classic and art. So let's see what we get. Oh, art is, these are fussy. I don't like those. We're going to go classic. 
And here we have the bold ones. Modern transitional. I'm going to look at handwriting because I feel like for a artist that might be better. Uh, now here, here's something that you got to learn. Certain fonts look great in all caps, but most of them don't. So we're going to do, uh, oh wait, what's going on here? It's just, it's just not a good font apparently. Uh, if I do it like that, I'm not getting any lowercase here. Oh, that's why the uppercase button is pressed. Now we're talking. So now I can, I can change this font to anything. Um, and I, I guess it's a capital L. Love you like a sister. No, she's a professional artist, so we want to really... That's bold, but I'm not sure. Sale might be a good option. Mm, I'm not loving it. Let's see what they got under funny. No, nope, they're too funny. Yesteryear, uh, Yellowtail. Remember, I'm, I'm doing this in a uh, timed fashion. Grand Hotel. Um, I'm just not, I got a groove on something that just looks arty, but also professional and strong. And I think maybe I'm going to have to go traditional serif, something like I am fell or, um, Suez ones. I love Playfair display and sometimes that in, in, uh, full caps looks really nice. Um, so you, you are limited by whatever fonts that they're supplying you, it looks like. Um, well, I, I basically I want to spend 10 minutes on on each uh, each of these at the most, uh, just to show what you can do rather quickly. Let's look at Montserrat, full caps, no. Oswald, full caps, it's always a classy look, but mm, maybe too much. It needs a little bit that says artist here. Uh, you know what? This is pretty bold. I'm going to get rid of this thing because it's I'm not grooving on that. Now, of course, you got to remember that <laughs> you got to change that uh, color back to something that you can actually read. So let's let's do this. And maybe what I can do, to, let's be even more creative here, is, is have the name maybe just come right to there. And yeah, because that way we're, we're and let, let's even make this a little bigger, maybe. Let's see. We're just playing around visually with this and see. Well, I think what we have to do here is make the L and the S as wide as the circle. And then bring that down so it just lines up there. And I think what I want to do here Let's come back to that color, and uh, we have a gradient. I'm going to make this a very um, like light, but we're also going to change this to that there, and then just make this one uh, quite a bit darker, but not in the black family. We want to keep it green, of course. Uh, like that. And uh, and then we have this have fun and create. Now, if you're designing anything, you always want to make sure. Uh, here, let me center this a little bit more. Uh, you want to make sure that you're you have contrast. So if you're using a, a sans serif font, you want to match it with a serif or something else. Since her tagline is have fun and create, I want her the font to be fun. Uh, maybe not this fun, and definitely not all caps. Um, but maybe something like that. Have fun and create. Um, let's see what we've got here for effect. Oh, you could do an outline or a shadow or a glow. Let me turn that on. Oh, ugh, awful. Don't like it. Uh, let's see what that looks like. That. Hmm. And then let's try this. If it wasn't spaced out that much, I'd like it a little more. You don't seem to be able to handle kerning with this product. Um, although it seems like you should be able to somehow. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we do have kerning. So spacing is kerning. That's the space between your letters. And let's. we want to set it to zero. That means that's what the, the font was intended to be. Curve. Can you do a curve? What does the curve mean? I think that that might have to do with spacing. Let's just make that zero and be done with it. 
what happened what happens if you make this change a curve nothing okay oh we can curve that that's neat but you're not seeing it in real time and that's sort of a problem so i guess if you just let's say if you select it and then hit the curve can you see it in real time yes you can all right so because she said she wanted something circular but i'm not gro grooving on it so much oh maybe we could do like this and if we make it all caps this could be very bold let's do this let's see how curvy we can make that curve that's a hundred percent curve so I'd have to add a little bit more space. Let's see if, no, that doesn't do anything, but move it more. So your curve is not a pure circle. Let's see if what happens when we change the, the font size down to something smaller. That gets that curve a little tighter, it looks like. And if we expand it like this, are we at 100% curve? We are still. Maybe I can expand the circle a little bit more to yeah we're almost there so we're doing I, normally in an illustration program I'd do this a little bit differently Ooh. so now what we could do whoops all right so what we could do here with this have fun and create all right so we're almost done I think it's not a hundred percent a good curve but you know what we're using a free product what I would do here let's change the spacing on the Lavina Wiggins and that might help things now it's getting a little hard to read and that's not good but I do like this curve idea let's change the font um, we're going for bold archival black whoa now we're going crazy here hold one uh, let's try something in the sense this was six caps before no let's try the Oswald no we'd have to do the spa oh that might work let's do um let me just reduce it now the curve so the curve seems to work differently ah look at that ah nice so the curve works a little bit different depending on your font it looks like so you see that w it's not it's not curving the way that I would normally do it you see how it, and again I, I think it's going to change based on the font but you know what I really like that look uh, this font see how the L and the A are going together it's a nice kerning pair I'm going to make the curve zero keep that I, I might increase the spacing on it right now we're at negative 13 see if I have it at, at zero it's not good I want it to touch a little bit there is even better, at least on the Lavinia. So you don't have like a tremendous amount of control, but you have just enough. I like that. Now my problem here is I like this wording so much. Here, all right, so the have fun and create, I'm not digging it. Um, oh, there, that looks cute. All right. Now, the only problem with this, again, is the contrast. I've got bold, but this is a totally different font. So let me... Uh, let me look at the scripts again. Have fun and create. That looks good. But now I want to go flat on this color. We're going to go back to her colors here. They're a little on the drab side, but this is what the client likes. So I'm going to go with that. We're going to make this color solid and we're going to do that. And maybe what we do is we reduce this. Is there some way we can integrate it? Now I'm spending too much time on it, but you could see with the product, it is it is specifically designed to work with um, uh, uh, it's specifically designed to do logos quickly. Let's go back to the icon. I'm no longer enamored by this, unfortunately. So let's go with that other one that we saw here, that guy. Actually, wait, let's see if it works a different way. If I select the icon and then I select it here, yes, it automatically replaces it and keeps the color. All right. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to uh, reduce the size of this icon a bit. And she said circle. So we're going to go back to that shape. And I thought I saw a badge that might work good for her. Uh, but we don't want to distract too much from this. So what I could do, oops. So you got to make sure it's not selected. We put in this badge. 
I'm going to make this badge this color. So if I go up to the color and just copy this code, take this badge and make it that color. And now we're going to make this white. And you'll understand what I'm doing in a second by bringing it all the way to the front. And now if I, there we go. And now we have this cool artist kind of thing going on. Uh, and we want to make sure they're both selected. And if you select them both, you should be able to resize both. And yes, you can. So we're make, making this a little hipstery kind of thing. I'm going to, uh, let's see if we could do, what do you do with layout? Will that change things? Oh, so it does sort of center things quickly for you. So if you're looking to, to do that, the problem is, of course, what happened to my other icon? I don't know where it went now because it's white. So um, let's see, can you undo things? You can. So you can come back to when we had it. And there it is. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make the text the color, this darker color because that was in the, the palette. And we're just going to come over here and paste it. And come over here and paste it. So now those two are that color. And I'm just going to bring this down to the sides of this other object. And you can see there's these, I don't know if you can see it, there's these faint lines that come out. Whoop. Keeps dripping away. Eh. All right, I think that's good enough. Let's get it nice and tight to that. And then here, the name is the most important thing. So I'm going to just make this larger, bring that down a little bit, select everything, center it on the page, and I'm going to call that a day. Uh, that can work. Um, the thing is with logos, you want to make sure that you could see them at a smaller level. So I'm going to save that one. So that's saving my design. And then you could preview it. There's a preview button up here once you save it. If I preview it, you can then see it on stationery, on business cards, and even on a t-shirt. That looks pretty cool, actually, on the wall there. That's a neat little preview. I like that. What I would do with this is once I saved it, I probably would reconfigure it for small, um, for small purposes and stuff. So uh, that's La Lavinia Wiggins. Have fun and create. She is an artist, so that's good. So our second logo is Ginger Swack. Let's see what she's got. So she's into lipstick and skin care. So uh, the logo is to be sued. No, used. <laughs> it's a typo. Uh, the logo is to be used as a watermark for social media and for print material. So uh, for that, uh, you'd have to recolor it uh, or make it transparent, obviously. Uh, company color is royal blue or navy. So we'll have to punt on what that color is. Uh, icon preferred is lips, sealed with a kiss and leaving the rest of the creativity up to me. I love when, when people do that. All right, so uh, let's get started. Okay, we're starting again from scratch. Uh, this is a beauty uh, skin product or beauty. So let's see if there's something here, fashion and beauty. Look at that. And immediately, oh, there's lips. Oh, this might be a quick one. <laughs> I see lipstick there, but that's actually lips. Um, so let's just see if there's any uh, more lips. There's lips with a biting in it, I, but this is like sealed with a kiss. So we want to just keep the, the kiss part, but you know, we could always change that. Um, I, I reckon we could, any of these is a starting point. So let's just do that. Ginger S-W-A-K, sealed with a kiss. Get started. And there it is. Look, we're done. Ha! Ah. No, uh, here, the, de oh, that's interesting. So it looks like these are three separate images. And as a result, you get the two different colors. So maybe, okay, that's interesting. So it looks like they might've done this with some shapes like symbols or an outline shape or something. I don't know how they did that. That's pretty cool though. You got two different colors. But um, let's go with an icon and we're going to look for lips and see what we get for lips. Loads of lips. Well, let's deal with the kiss. I always think of this this uh, sideways one, but let's see if there's other options too. So we got that one. That's cute. A smile. I don't like that. That's sort of a kiss, but mm, not obvious. Um, 
So the one that looks the most like the sealed with the kiss one to me is either this one or this one. This one isn't smiling though. And that one has a beauty mark. Um, there's that. I'm gonna, let's see. Um, I guess we just gotta pick one. And But it should be smile. I see this I like, even though it's not open or anything, it's just a little bit subtler. If I had this with the little, the white bit there, um, like that. Oh, let's go with that, okay? And I believe she said that the 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 lo they're normally navy blue or blue. Um, but the lips wouldn't be blue. The lips would probably be red, right? And we we don't want any of this. So we're just gonna delete that, delete that, and delete that. And we're gonna go like this. And this font is not doing it for me. So, okay, you can come up here or you can go over here too. Uh, let's see, what speaks to us about, what's Poppins? But let's not make it full caps. I think we sort of have to go with the full caps. Um, Let's look at traditional. I think for this, that might be a little bit too much unless it were on two lines. So what I might do is take the swack part out of it and and maybe we make the, yeah, I like that as a ginger, and then the sealed with a kiss. Let's make the spacing zero here and not have we, so again, so you've got a serif font, so what we want is a sans serif, something that's, that's bold and can offset that. Uh, maybe Oswald? Nope. Uh, no, it's got to be something that's, that ginger is very delicate. So what we want is something that is very bold, sans serif, archival black, believe it or not. Um, or maybe alpha slab is too much. Yeah, that's too much. But what we're going to do is we're going to get some, some blue in here. Um, Lalazar. That might work if we space it out a bit. And we increase the font size a bit. You know, it's not her last name, so we might want to make it uh, you know what, I'm gonna, I don't like that spacing. No, I guess it's the font. Um, no, these are bold. Let's get into sans serif, maybe able. See, that's cool if I had a heavier, a heavier weight on it. Um, that's a little too much, thank you. Corona one, mm, that's also too much. See, it's gotta be simple, the ginger is very, mm, you know, um, maybe we do with that, and we're going to all right, so I'm feeling something I'm feeling something with dots, um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some solid shapes we're gonna whoops, we're gonna put in some dots, but we're gonna make them very small, so what we're gonna do is do s like that. And we're just going to copy and paste these like that and like that. That way you know that this is sealed with a kiss. Um, that should be centered. This should be centered in between there. Centered. And I'm sort of eyeballing it. See the problem with a W and an A is this angle and that angle. So the only way to make it look centered is if the W had a, a straight up and down line there, which it doesn't have. And these circles maybe need to be a lot smaller. No, the circles are too much. And now I'm no longer in love with that font. See, doing this kind of, oh, this kind of work is not easy. The creativity is where you, you can really get down a rat hole. Uh, there's a bold. See, the W there is too fancy and it's competing with the, the ginger. You really need a very simple font for this. Uh, maybe Source Sans Pro, if there's a bold part of it. I might make the swack 
smaller. I wonder if we could make it as part of the... No, that's not working for me. See, what I might do is this, ginger, and then we have sealed with a kiss. And what I might do is actually be pedantic and put in the, w, the, the dots. That way you know what it is. And I might make this, for contrast's sake, even a lot smaller. Sealed with a kiss. And she said the, the they are into this navy blue. So let's come into the blue and see how blue we can get. That's not navy. So in a case like this, and you want to find out what is navy blue, you just Google navy blue hex uh, code. And then they'll give you like midnight blue, navy blue. You just copy that. And then you come over here and paste it. And then that's that's your blue right there. And I might come back here and do that blue too for the word ginger. And now we've got ginger. And let's see if we could do anything that gets us a little bit closer. So we might have something interesting here. No, 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 we don't want to complicate it. The, the smile is simple. This is simple. Uh, the question is, does swack need to be small or big? So what's happening here is this icon is, it, there's a lot of fighting going on here, as you can see. So we need something to unify it. So maybe a badge might work uh, or a banner or something. Actually, it'd be nice to put the swack right in something like that, but we need the lips and that's more important than anything. Uh, let's look at decoration. Maybe we just add a, a little noodle or something to it. You know, it is a beauty thing. And this would be like a small little cute. Oh, see, now we're getting all funny and see. Uh, so maybe I do something like this. Let's, let's get, this just gave me an idea. So what we do is we make the ginger the, the biggest thing, right? We go with this font. Stay with me here, folks. And what we're going to do, we're going to make this really large. Let's center that. There we go. And now we're going to take our lips and put it right in here. Watch this. This will be cute. Wait, whoops. Oh, this is on top. So we want to send that to the back. Bring the lips up. There we go. Now, because we're at a, such a small thing with this, now we got to go back to our icons. And now, now we want solid lips because uh, the line's going to get lost. We just want to hint at it. And since it's lips, we're going to make it look like a face. Look at that. Isn't that cute? This is a, a cute way to use stuff. And since it's sealed with a kiss, maybe we just do like that. Check that out. That is classy as all get out. And maybe I make that red color. Um, so I'm going to just jump in there. And now, look at that. Golden. And that one was a lot faster than the last logo we did. So we're, we're making some progress here. We got that. Let's pre preview it. Look at that. Now, it's the swag, it, I would make this larger on a business card, obviously. But on, um, you know, on something like that, it looks cool. Look at that. If she opens up her own store or on a t-shirt, that looks pretty neat. The lips look like they're getting a little close in the preview. But I'm not sure that's how it would export. So right there, it's centered. And it, it sort of implies that face. Um, I like it. I'm going to save it. Our third logo is for Jonathan Klein. Okay, so what does Jonathan need? He's a personal trainer. Okay, so uh, this is for personal training and coaching. Okay, uh, anything that conveys athletic endeavor, striving, effort, and achieving goals. Okay, so it's rather vague, but I'm sure I can work with it. Name is company, so his name is Jonathan Klein. The second line, certified personal trainer, USATF level one track and field coach. Now, uh, for branding or for a logo, I probably wouldn't use all that. I'm just going to say certified personal trainer. So that's what we're going with. And the rest of the creativity is up to me. Let's get started. Okay, Jonathan Klein, certified personal trainer. So is this, let's see, life cycle? Uh, sports and fitness. There we go for our trainer. Let's see, we'll start here because we could easily find something that looks strong and looks good. Ooh, I like that. That's like a muscly kind of guy. Oh, here's another muscly. 
That's very muscly. Um, ooh, ooh, that one's that one's very. This is a contender. This might be a one and done, folks. I like that a lot. Um, obviously, you know, if everybody's using this tool, some of these logos are going to start looking like other people's logos. But you know, that's the name of the game. Um, this is a pretty cool thing with that muscly guy. That's a skateboard. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. That's like a nice retro kind of thing, but I think he was going for something that's strength and positive. That lightning guy might just fit the bill. Um, and I know it's a little bit of manpower there, so I'd like to see something with a strong woman, too. I'm not seeing it. Um, boxing glove sort of gets there, but no. It sort of does. I don't know what kind of personal training Jonathan does, uh, to be honest. Uh, it looks like he's very... Ah! See that? That's good. See, th this is very masculine, but with the heart and that, that could be anything, uh, which I like a lot. And it still exudes a lot of strength, and we can go with more strength in the... the um, in his name, more than anything. It could also connote heart health. Um, but as you can see, there's a lot of good variations that you have here. Oh, this is Arnold. Hello, girly man. Um, this is just a bicep, but it still looks, it's got that male energy, which is why I'm very much leaning towards that heart. This is adorable. Not that it's for him. I don't see anything else that looks like a trainer. So it's either between the lightning guy, which is really positive. I like the lightning. But maybe we can eat our cake and have it too. Okay, so we scroll back up here. See this lightning bolt with the negative space and then the two-tone color? Well, we might be able to do something with uh, negative space in that heart. So I'm going to go back to that heart because... I just want to make it a tiny bit different than anything else we've seen. Where is that heart? I think we have to scroll down. Here it is. I'm going to select it. And here we're going to call that Jonathan Klein, Certified Personal Trainer. Thank you very much. Get started. Now here we have an issue of the, the um, this is not transparent. And I like to make all of my logos transparent. So we're going to go to background and make it transparent. Now what that does is it, it now we can't see the text because it's too light. Now remember I showed you colors coolers dot co right so this is a tool that helps you develop um, a, a color scheme and basically I want two to three colors that are going to work and right now I just got random if I keep hitting the space bar it'll give me just random colors until I find a color or two or three that I really like. So here I'm going to look up colors that uh, symbolize strength. Okay, and here they got red and pink, but um, I want to find images here and this will just give me a base place to start. Um, so maybe I got to look up color scheme, symbolize strength color scheme and let's get rid of the word symbolize and see we've got the browns brown oh this one I love that that's a nice one so here it says masculine color scheme see this is the problem this, now we're talking about gendered colors I still think that's a, a cool scheme uh, to go with so uh, what we want is something in this blue tan red that's that's doing it for me so let me find a what we could do here is just start and find something that's in that that red family and then here we could lock it and then you hit space and then we can find oh wait can we go back because oh no nerds what happened oh no let's go back to um Oh, we have that red. It's almost that red. We need a little brighter. Right, and now let's lock it. And then this khaki I'm going to lock. And now what we want is a blue. Yeah, there we go. Now we want something that a contrasty. Ooh, that's good. 
We almost got a color palette. There we go. Now we got a color palette. So uh, for that heart, we want this red brown. So we're going to come back over here and we want the heart red brown. So let's double click it. Click over here and paste. There we go. It's looking good already. I like it. Now the arms, we want to be, let's see. I'm going to go for this superiority blue, it says. So we'll make that blue. And make, ooh, that's nice. I like that a lot. It's good, strong, nice. And then I want to find lightning. Because I sort of like that. And what I want to do is get some negative space in here going. Um, and what we're going to do in order to get that negative space, you know, maybe it's just simple enough like that. I don't know. For some reason, I feel like it needs just a little zoot. Uh, that's white. I don't know why. I'm just I'm feeling like maybe it just needs a little zoot. Or if you're going to do something like that, here, let, let's, first of all, let's get this so we can read it. Okay. Uh, maybe we need a JK. Well, I mean, the problem with JK is it looks like just kidding, but I don't think that's what it is. But what we could do, let's try it. We're going to examine, it, it, sometimes it's nice to just get a, um, let's see, boom. And then we're just going to make this a boom. Oop. JK. Oop, no, capital. No, hello, JK, there we go. And what we want to do, so that JK, this font's not going to work, but, um, nope. Want it something that's a balanced, the J and the K. Mm. All right, this is a bad idea. Let's just keep the, the icon. I think the whole concept is good. Um, and then here, is um yeah, let me get rid of that uh we want to make this that red i could you could also save colors if you want to so like here if i double click this and then i can copy this i can a add a color there oh i didn't even have to copy and paste it so if i double click this I can add that to the color palettes. So now those two are in there and I don't have to keep memorizing them. So now when I can go over here, I can just hit that red if I want and then come over here and hit that blue if I want. We're almost done with this, Jonathan. Sorry to tell you, um, but I want a nice, strong, positive. Boom. Yeah, this sort of goes with it. Jonathan Klein. It, I sort of like it's the S that I'm grooving on this, but it's not it's not working. It's undermining the strength. We want a little bit more Jonathan Klein. Let's see. No, it's got to be boom. That's almost there. It looks a little a little too stylized, and so does that. Black Ops, no. Maybe, no. There you go. That looks good. What? Oh. Let's make sure it looks right. We're going to center that. Jonathan Klein. And now remember a contrast. So if I have a, a font that's sans serif here, we're going to want to put a script or a serif font. So we're going to go to the traditional serif ones and maybe something like that. Uh, it needs to be darker. Let's look at the color scheme that we generated over here. Let's get this brown. Uh, we're, at, we're introducing a third color at this point. I'm not sure it's the right idea, but it should be darker. It could also be just black. Um, I'm going to also do something that I like to do when you've got a long byline. Uh, is What you do is you make the text smaller but then you uh, make the spacing larger. And actually, it's, I want to line it up to the edge of the E and the J there. Let's center it on there. Boom. And there. I, I like it. I did, this is, I'm grooving on this one too. 
we're just going to take the whole thing and, and make it a bit bigger like this center it on the page somehow there we go boom let's preview that bad boy oh yeah i love it jonathan klein he's the guy you want we're saving that see i'm getting faster at this which is really awesome next our fourth and final logo is for alexander fink he's a very nice guy by the way for an attorney i'm just kidding he's just a nice guy and he's a great attorney he's not just he's everything anyway uh, so he uh, just formed a new law practice. It's called Fink Law PC. Think Fink. Wants a nice legal logo. That should be easy enough. Something simple, showing professionalism. And defers to my creativity. All right, let's go to town. Okay, here we are. Um, and look at that. Legal and politics. Let's see what we could do for Fink Law PC. This is just going to be one name and one logo. Now you got a lot of these things with the, um, you know, uh, the justice symbol. Uh, it seems like a lot of sheriffs are in here and cops. I don't know about that. He's a uh, he does a lot of good uh, law stuff. That's not doing it for me. So fortunately, you could just keep scrolling through this. Uh, it looks like I've reached the end. So not a lot of variations here. Uh, and he's not a judge, so I wouldn't go with that. So I might either go with your typical uh, weights. Or this might be a, a good time to start from scratch. Um, yeah, this is a nice professional one, but I don't like this knife. I know it's probably part of the, the symbol, but and this looks too political. So uh, let's start from scratch. Try that. All right, so the first thing we want is an icon, and I'm going to look for lawyer and see what we get from lawyer. Let's see. Oh, actual people. Oh, a barrister. That's from England. I'm not sure if the developers are from the United States. Probably not, because like looking at that, that's a, see that guy? Oh, that's that's a barrister. We don't want that. Uh, what we want is an attorney somewhere, um, or something legal. So you've got, you know, the, the justice symbol. He said something professional, so I want something that's clean. Uh, let's just try law and see what we get from that. Okay, so it's a little bit different. We got this symbol, um, and it's Fink Law. Let's see. We got the balances. It, it's something that's so readily uh, identifiable with uh, the law um, profession that we might as well use it. But I want to find something that's simple, accessible. See, I like this. So if I, I, I just select this and swap it out. I like this. However, this might be seen as a little too casual, which is why I'm not going to use it. Um, let's click on more icons and see what else we come up with. So when you think of law, see we're getting governmental uh, symbols and things like that. So this might be a little bit trickier. We might want to go with this. Um, maybe what we need to do is not start with the icon this time. Let's start with the text. Or, or even maybe we start with a shape. Here we could take advantage of one of these uh, badges, perhaps. Well, let's start with the, the text. And uh, we're going to add a company name, and we're going to call it Fink Law. PC, right? And I'm going to do this all caps because I'm just feeling it. And that's too casual. We want something that's bold but also polished. So the font that most speaks to me about that, that's good. We've already used that one. I like that font a lot. That's called Corona One. Um, you know, Montserrat, even in a bold weight, looks really nice. But I tend to like using a serif font for law. So I usually use Playfair Display. I mean, that already looks like a lawyer. Um, if you want to go a little bit less formal, you know, the, the total caps works for that. I am fell that new. No, thank you. Just playing with a couple other ideas until we fall in love with it. That might be it. I'm also thinking 
I'm going to add another company name and just go with Think. Okay. And this one. Um, so now let, let's say we just do a totally text. Um, no, not that. A totally text um, logo. Right. And here we're going to even make it bold. So Think. And then the byline, and here we go, sans serif, you know, not a condensed font though, it's got to be a, like something like that, or um, what we do is space it out a little bit. This is, this is where we, you know, here we're just capitalizing on his name being very short and sweet and something to, to you know, be memorable. But I want to see what other options we have here on the sans serif. Newman's. See, that might be good. Um, Jura. Yeah, there we go. And then what I want to do is just put in a fine line or something. Oh, let's just play with something for a second. No, that's too fussy. Um, line, that's what we want. And the line we want is just a straight line. Oh, or maybe one of these. Boom. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. And then we just like that. Right? I don't know if it's... Oh yeah, good, it's fixed. You want, you want your proportions fixed. You don't want to accidentally, you know, stretch your uh, graphic there. Let's just make sure it's centered. And then here we have Think Law. I'm going to make this smaller and then spread out the text a little bit more. So here we go to spacing. There we go. Think. Now, if we wanted to add a graphic to this, and I'm not sure we have to, um, let's go back to icons. We want to find the simplest one of these scales. Maybe if I write Justice, we'll find something. Justice League, we definitely don't want that. He is a super attorney though, but uh, that's not what I want to go with. Let's look. So we have a lot of the scales. Um, something that's classy. Uh, Sheesh. Um, maybe that. And what we do. All right. So, so this is one of these things you could do. You could actually replace a letter with a symbol. But in this particular case, whoops. See, I'm being a little creative. Maybe it's too much so. So, here's the thing. I I want to be able to see this a lot more. It's at we're looking at a 200%. Let me. Uh, Now let's see if we can zoom in more. Fit. Oh, no. All right, so let's go back to 500 by 500 pixels. Apply. And if I go to fit or 200%. So that's the biggest I can make it. You could also, it looks like you could put in grid lines if you want to see it a little bit better. So this, it's a little busy and a little clever. Um, it does, it does show you that he is an attorney, though. Um, so we'll see if he likes it. Uh, I might want to get this a little bit closer to there and a little bit closer to there. And then we select everything and just make it nice and big in proportion. There we go. And let's center that. There you go. All right. Um, so. So now this line seems to be competing with everything else in weight. So now let me go back to the lines. Um, where are our lines at? Lines. And we just want a thin line. And apparently I can't get that. Can I do that? See that the ratios are fixed. So there doesn't seem to be a way to un undo the ratio of that. 
and all we want really is a line. So um, I guess we're sort of stuck with this, which is not, see that's too much competition, I just want a line. So already I'm, I'm discovering a little bit of a limitation. What I could do is just add something like, whoops, I could, <sighs> frustrating, okay. Just add this as a thing, like that. Or say heck with the line and just do this. But now we want that F line there and the dot of the C and PC to be lined there. So I'm eyeballing this because if I were to truly center the box, this text box, oh, and let's make sure this is in the front, right back. There we go. So this, if I were to actually center it, I don't know if you could see it's, uh, yeah, see how the dot is right where I want it to be over here, but the F is moved over a little bit. So I really want to bring this over a tiny bit like that. Um, or maybe, I think you need the dots after the PC. So uh, now I need a law firm color. Let me look up law firm colors. So blue is trust and reliability, okay. So I'm going to go with the blue. We're going to be in the blue family. So we go back to coolers. We're going to un... We want all this unlocked. Lock, lock. So these are all unlocked. So I'm going to hit space, space, until we get a nice blue. Oh, that's good. I like that. Dark slate gray. It's got a nice blue in it. So we're going to uh, make the think that color blue. Nice already. And now we need something that contrasts that. So that is locked. Let me hit some spaces. I'm gonna use this jet. That's a good color too. And then here, we just make that that color. Oh, is that, see, it's it's gotta be a lot darker, I think. I think we might have to go even darker. So let me just adjust it and make the brightness a smoky black. There we go. So it's not exactly black, but it's dark enough. There we go. Can I make that a, hmm, no, it should be lightweight. And then here, we're gonna just make that, that smoky black. And there you go. I'm gonna save that. Ah, so once you get up to three free logos, you have to upgrade or delete one of the existing logos. So let me go to my thing here, I'm gonna, this is a logo that I made previously. And how do I delete it? Oh, let me hit save and see if it'll, all right, fine. Hmm. My logos. So we already saved a bunch of these guys. This is the one I wanna delete. Oh, I already made it plus. All right, so, so there you go. So now, I can't, it won't let me save it. Uh, I was given an upgrade code by the company uh, to let me do some things. So I'm, so I'm gonna leave this on my monitor so I don't lose it. Let me close that. So here are the logos that I had. So now that you have some logos, what do you do with them? So you could design it for free. That was fun. And this is a really good tool just to get some creative ideas. But if you want to keep exactly what you designed, you have to upgrade. So, and then there's these dots. Oh, that lets you delete it, okay but I can't delete it because I've already upgraded this one. All right, so to upgrade it, you click upgrade. And so what you can do is in order to use it, you have to give credit to uh, to the company. Uh, and it says once you uh, purchase it, you can download it. So that's my current package. So if I want to um, get this logo, uh, you could buy it for $20, which allows you to download it at a large resolution, 5,000 by 5,000 pixels, that'll definitely let you print it right. And it'll let you save it as a JPEG, which will have a white background, or as a PNG, which will be a transparent background. You get lifetime support, whatever. Uh, it's print ready, which means you could print this on a business card, an envelope, and all that. And you could also edit, re-download it. Now, with $40, you get all that, <clears throat> plus you get it as a PDF in an SVG file. What does that mean? 
It means you can bring it into Adobe Illustrator or any other uh, application that allow you to edit vectors, and then you could tweak it a little bit more. So what what Design Evo let you let you do is very quickly and easily um, pre-flight logo designs at a very quick pace, uh, get your creative juices flowing, and then you can go in and then replace the fonts or, or you know replace some other things. Uh, one of the questions I would have is when you export it as a um, SVG file, are the does the text save as text or is it saving as vector? I don't know. Now the other thing too is the right to register as a trademark. So the thing is that it, apparently if you download this, you can't um, you can't copyright your design because you designed it on Design Evo. Um, so, you know, here, the, the frequently asked, it's a one-time fee, so once you buy your logo, you do it. So you've done all the design work, and then you spent $20 to design, to download it. What's my verdict on this uh, the product? And let's go back to my vo uh, logos. Uh, I'm pretty happy with them, and I designed them pretty quickly. I got these three here going, and after I did the first one and learned how to use the tools, it allowed me to do them pretty darn uh, quickly. So uh, there you go. Uh, you go to designevo.com and start designing for free. And apparently they even have a mobile version of it, which is uh, pretty cool to see. What happens if you click on... Oh, look at that. they got some mobile versions of this app. So it'll be the same deal there. Once you design it on your mobile, then you'll have to uh, pay for it to, to actually use it. Um, so here we... Oh, and they, it looks like they also have a desktop app. So I could have downloaded this for the Mac and and do it there, um, and then again I guess that's so you could use it offline as opposed to online. But I'm not sure without downloading it how much more useful that will be. So uh, my verdict is that this is a good product, and and the price point for it, it, these are better than a lot of the other logo makers I've seen, um, you know, and and the price point for for most people. If you needed this design or any of the other designs that that you have here, um, and again, if you click that upgrade, you know twenty dollars, that's not bad. Then you could start using it and printing it. Um, the the hardest part, which I hope I've illustrated to you, is the creativity and having an eye for design, and that's what I brought to it. Thank you very much.